In just 24 hours, doors will open to the public for the public to enter the world of wine and beer at the 17th annual Red River Wine and Beer Festival. Toledo Bravo went to the JS Bridwell Ag Center today where they're setting things up and how are things coming along, Talia? Well, almost the tables are set up and titles of the different vendors are being hung for the annual event that continues to grow each year. Tomorrow marks the 17th annual Red River Wine and Beer Festival, an event that co-chair Angela Cooley never imagined would be this big. Over the years, we have grown and grown to where we now take in the arena side as well. And we have the beer and the entertainment and the dance area on the arena, arena side. And then we have all the vendors and the wineries and the spirit tasting on the concrete side. Hosted by the Junior Senior Forum, all proceeds go towards charities in our community. Cooley shares they wouldn't be able to pull it off without sponsors. This event has always been very well received by the community and we're very blessed by that because 100% of the proceeds go directly back to the community. We have voted on different charities. The Senior Junior Farm is the one that puts on this event and we have voted on different charities and so when this is over, again, 100% of the, the proceeds go to those charities. This year there will be over 40 different Texas wines attendees will be able to try out and the festival added a digital feature this year to make sure you don't miss out on anything. Everything for program wise will be digital so there will be QR codes throughout the event. You can scan that QR code. You can see everything about Senior Junior Form. You can see everything about the festival. You can see what wineries are represented, what wines they're having, beers, all those are listed. The spirits are all listed and descriptions with all of those. Cooley says everything at this event, if not local, is at least all from the Lone Star State. One of the things that we're very proud of for this event is that we try to keep everything as much as local as we can. Our vendors are local, local our beer distributors are local, local wineries participate. Um, but if they're not local again, they are all Texas based. That's something that we work very hard to ensure. Hard work that for sure will show tomorrow when doors open. Doors open up at 6 p.m. tomorrow and close at 10 p.m. Tickets are available at United Market Street on Jacksboro Highway and United in Burke Burnett over also over at the MPEG box office. And those are $30, but at the door they will be selling for $35. It's going to be a big time. It always is. Talia, thank you so much for showing us what to expect.